Imagine you're working with a brand new client. This is someone who you were introduced to by a trusted friend and you want to do a good job. You want to put your best foot forward. And in this particular case, you are co-hosting a virtual presentation for this gentleman. This could be a, a mutually beneficial long-term relationship if it goes well. You practice, you rehearse, you get all your slides, videos, audios, polls ready. You prepare for the worst. You have a contingency plan in place just in case something happens. You get 15 minutes into the presentation and guess what? Something happens. Your computer locks up. You can't have a, you don't have access to your videos, your PowerPoint slides, your polls. You can't even turn off your computer. Something dramatic has happened. It's never happened before. Can you imagine that? I don't have to. It happened to me last Friday. <laughs> Brand new client, Gene. We went through a, two weeks of conversations back and forth, practice, rehearse, do dry runs, everything. I'm prepared with my system. And sure enough, 15 minutes in, everything crashed. My computer locked up. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even turn it off. I'd never experienced this before. They, I could hear them on the other end, but I was frozen. So I did what you're not supposed to do with a computer system. I went nuclear option. I unplugged it, which you're never supposed to do, but I had no other choice. Now, I was irate. I could, how does this happen? I prepared for this, a brand new client. This is a disaster. But then something interesting happened. My training kicked in. I learned years ago that when you are under duress, you have to fall back on your training. Well, I had practiced and rehearsed over and over again. I've got seven years of virtual hosting experience. All of it kicked in. I knew when I restarted my computer, the worst thing I could do is get back on the call. I had to get everything back lined up, the videos, the slides, the polling, then enter the call and just hope that my client, Gene, was taking care of business while I was offline. Well, sure enough, when I logged back in, he had smoothly taken over. He's a retired military man. He commanded two United States Navy ships. He can handle a crisis, which this is not in comparison. But when I jumped back on, we were able to uh, kind of reconfigure and figure out where he was in the presentation. I jumped back in and the rest of it went fairly smoothly. A few more glitches. But I was reminded that as speakers, as trainers, leaders, sales professionals, we're not paid and sometimes paid well for when everything is going great. We're paid to handle the challenges and the problems. I was still pretty mad when this thing was over. I kept it all inside, didn't show it on screen, but I was mad at the situation, not anybody, more myself. But then I got on a call, a debrief call with Gene, and his first words were, wow, that was rough, and you handled yourself so professionally, Michael. I want to work with you again. And I thought, oh, what a relief. And it was just a reminder not just for me, but if you're watching this, anytime you're in a situation, it's why preparation is so critical. Practice, rehearse. You can't practice for everything that might go wrong. I had something occur which never happened before, but I was able to go back to the training, go back, just figure out what do I have to do first, next, 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 and next, and, and recover the situation. Remember, it's what we do when everything goes wrong is how we're best measured. So that's why practice and rehearsal is so critical. Do it so that it's second nature and then you can keep your emotions in check, take care of the problem, and serve your client no matter what's going on. Hope this helps and uh, just know that no matter what happens with your technology, something's going to go wrong you've never experienced. And it's okay.